Over a decade ago, Tony Lamb's daughter had a run-in with an ice cream man that wound up changing his life. We're in the backyard. I've got four kids, and we hear this music. My wife and I come around the corner, and there is the, the sketchiest van you've ever seen in your life. And as my daughter was kind of running up to the truck, she stopped and screamed. She screamed out of sheer terror and said, but I want a popsicle. Tony and his wife bought the kids ice cream but couldn't help replaying the encounter over and over in their heads. We said, imagine if that truck would have been nice. Imagine if it was an open kitchen concept. It was all glass you could see in. And this goes on for weeks. Imagine if, imagine if. Tony, obsessed about that idea for two years, he decided to quit his then day job as a marketing consultant in 2006 to launch Kona Ice, a shaved ice store on wheels. My wife has backed me in everything I've ever wanted to do. And I remember telling her, I said, I think I'm going to go build ice cream trucks. And she said, really? Really. I knew this was an established industry. It was just a, a devastated industry. And I knew I could resurrect that. Lamb launched the business from his basement and the first trucks rolled out in 2007. Even in a recession, Lamb managed to sell 50 trucks. In 2010, it was another 60. Today, they have 700 locations in 46 states. When you're driving this or when you see one of your franchisees pull up, can you believe it? Do you have to pinch yourself sometimes? You know, yes, yeah, sometimes I catch it and it's, it's very surreal, I guess. You'll see it on television. You'll mm -hmm. see it at uh, uh, baseball games. You'll see it, you know, in sporting events and you're like, wow, I guess it does get kind of surreal there. What does your wife think now since she seemed a little skeptical when you first <laughs> came with the idea? Oh, no, it was, it was quickly. She, uh, she's lo she loves it because we're, we're together as a family. Today, Lamb is still committed to literally test driving his own product, trucks and ice included. Wow, that's pretty good. But even for a man who's living his dream, the sky's the limit. I'm not in Maine or North Dakota or Alaska, but let me tell you something. <laughs> what? When I get in Alaska, I've sold ice to Eskimos, it's over. Yeah. I'm, done. I'm done. It's going to be a mic drop and I'm just going to walk away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you've found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're going to motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.